The miracles of Jesus are a significant part of the Gospels. In Matthew's, you will find 153 verses relating to the miracles of Jesus. And in Mark, you will find 196 verses telling the story of Jesus, reflecting the miracles of Jesus. And also as well in Luke, you will find 140 verses talking about the miracles that Jesus at the phone. And also, last but not least, you'll find in John, you'll find 181 verses telling the story of Jesus and his miracles. So this would give you a total of 670 verses in the gospel talking about the related miracles that Jesus has performed. Jesus is presented in the gospel as the authority, a vine authority to heal the sick, raise the dead, and cast out demons. Outside of the gospels, you won't find many stories about Jesus and his miracles. But as I relate today and as I look over these miracles and I look over the life of Jesus, I came to the conclusion that uh, Jesus didn't want the world to know that he was just a miracle worker. That he didn't descend from his father to come here to just give us miracles and to uh, raise the dead. I really believe that his purpose or his objective was to build the bridge between man and God because we had lost our connection. And he came to build the, rebuild the bridge between man and God. And uh, sometimes I really wonder when I hear folks say they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And um, people have a right to believe and to say what they will and accept what they will. But I'm glad that God has given us all a free will to choose him as our savior if we desire to do so. But Jesus didn't come just to give a man a miracle or to raise a man from the dead. The really purpose of Jesus coming were to save mankind from his sin. And Jesus knew if a man had a miracle and he could still be lost and go to hell. He know that he could raise the dead and that person can still die again and go to hell. But Jesus knew that we needed more than just a miracle. We needed more than just a, red, a dying man raised from the grave. We needed more than that. So Jesus himself, took upon himself and he died for our sins. He died that you and I would have a chance to the tree of life. Now we have victory. Now we have life and we have it more abundantly. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad that Jesus did all the miracles that he did. But I am more happy that he died for my sins. Now I have life and I have it more abundantly. That's why we rejoice, because Jesus lives. I don't care what nobody say and how they say it, Jesus lives because he lives on the inside of us. You ought to be happy about that. You ought to be glad about that. You ought to lift your hands and tell God, thank you for living on the inside of me. God is alive. I'm gone, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you.